the same location on different days. What this exercise is referring to is how different the images are, even if you paint several images on one day or the same location on different days. And for all these images look as if they're done seasons apart, they're actually just done days apart. So the subject, it's the same subject, but the conditions uh, change the finished look of, of each sketch. This is ongoing, this particular series. And for this one I'm looking at the progress of the sketch. The progress going from a very loose abstract sketch through towards a very tight finished sketch. Very easy to do and th this is what the sketch looks like in the first few seconds or minutes and then spend the rest of the time tightening it up. Under painting with blue, this exercise you can uh, click on to and there's a short video of it. But basically what I was trying to get across here was the very clear dark blue sky above with the rising sun in front of me silhouetting the view and the highlights in the silhouettes were very very dark blue. Quite the opposite with the underpainting with red because the sun had moved round and was slightly to my right and slightly behind me. And so the, the, the darker blues of the sky above weren't coming through as uh, reflected highlights. But I noticed what was happening was when I was staring at the green constantly, uh, these reds were coming through. And in this one, what I've done is I'm, I'm working from light to dark. And this picture works very well. Uh, it's quite crisp and tight. But the, the very loose sketch at the beginning, uh, th this, this appeals to me. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to work more like this in the future. And here I've got the same subject with different approaches. and. You can see in the top left hand corner there's a very sort of uh, loose green and sort of tertiary colours with pinks. And contrast to that on another sketch done around about the same time are these clear dark blues. With this one working from dark to light what I've done is I've sketched out very quickly because I remember it was raining on this day and so I sketched out with these dark tones very very quickly sketched in the uh, the composition and then very hurriedly worked into the loose sketch here's another underpainting with red uh, from the same location as the previous one and uh, what I've tried to get across here is the, the brightness uh, of the, the greens. And so it was handy, referring back to this red underpainting, to get these high key tones and colours to sort of jump out. And this, this one is blocking in with negative values. Uh, an exercise I'd thought that I'd, I'd try for myself and uh, it was just a, a kind of an intellectual exercise to revert everything and then work back on top of it to see if some of the negative tones and values would come through. And in a similar way what I've done here is that I've I haven't used negative values, what I've used are, are, are complementary colours. So 
So I've, I've envisaged the finished picture and then started off with the complementaries of the finished picture and just blocked in with yellows and reds and uh, let those come through in the finished piece. And because most of the um, colours in this sketch are blue, I've decided to underpaint with orange, having learned from the previous location. So I've sketched out with orange and then put the blue on top of the orange, and it kind of uh, gives a, a bit of vibration to the finished picture. More underpainting with reds. But here, I had the, um, the purple flowers against the long grasses on the cliff top. 